Hey there folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's uh, around 8.45 a.m. here in Dhaka. I'll be doing a couple of videos for you and I'm sorry I'm sounding like this. I've been uh, pretty unwell all of yesterday. I basically took rest whole day. Uh, I think it was some sort of food that I ate. Uh, it caused a severe <laughs> problem and uh, you know, it was very painful basically the whole day. I couldn't go for a walk or anything. So my voice is also down. I'm a little bit weak. So I'll be resting as of today as well, but I decided to do the review, continue work. And I realized, you know, I told you before my re reviews uh, will be mostly older fragrance uh, like this versus that or lists because I have done reviews on all my fragrances, whatever I bought so far. I haven't bought any new fragrances, which uh, like are brand new, right? So I decided not to buy that many this month. Uh, I'm, I'll be receiving one more bottle today. Uh, that is a Boss bottle, Boss bottle Pacific. I think that's the last one for the month, perhaps. Okay, uh, but I realized suddenly when I was going to have a bag, you know, uh, like full of uh, samples and all that. Uh, it's like here. It's like a man is <laughs> collecting dust. Basically, what I have is I have like a lot of samples in there. You know, like uh, sometimes I take them out and I re-review or I review so some fragrances maybe I have covered but some of them like I do not remember reviewing so I found four fragrances which are not done on my channel so I'll be reviewing uh, two by two so first episode today I'm gonna be covering two maybe two more I'll do two more so I have one Zerja the other one is uh, Memo Paris and these two fragrances I haven't reviewed both are niche and expensive fragrances let's look at them okay so hopefully you're doing good keep uh, make sure your health is always good that's the most important thing so first thing I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about is called Zerjov. Uh, I think it's called Malaysia. Okay, and I think Utstars line. Okay, this is an official sample of I think about two ml, which is very generous. And I think I got this perhaps when I purchased something from Sandara, one of our uh, retail outlet. This is the juice color, very beautiful. Uh, I'll put pictures of these uh, both bottles on cover photo, so you can see the pictures are not here. I think one of them, other one is not here. Very gorgeous bottles both. And uh, this one, let me talk about the price. I think Utstars line in Bangladesh goes for around $500 plus for uh, 50 ml. So this is not cheap by any stretch of imagination. So um, I have sprayed this on the paper. We'll talk about it from the paper. Let me tell you the notes breakdown from Fragrantica. And this is a fragrance release for both genders, unisex, men and women both. And I don't think they mentioned the release year of this. Uh, nothing mentioned of Fragrantica. It's done by Chris Morris. And this fragrance has quite a few notes. Lily of the Valley, Amber, Gurjan Balsam, I don't know what that is. Uh, then Laoshan Oud, Tolu Balsam, Labdenum, Musk, Tonka Beans, and Vanilla. So it definitely offers some interesting notes. So let's uh, smell this. Uh, I can smell it. Let me respray just for the opening top note. It's a very lovely fragrance. Both of these are very good. Okay. Those who tried, uh, they know. Okay. Let me, I think, put it inside because this sample might drop and break. And one that I'll gift it away to someone after reviewing okay so they can experience this fragrance okay so let's keep it like that okay and let's smell this okay so Malaysia that's what I'm smelling right now and uh, this perfume I think is uh, beautiful it's very beautiful it's very wearable and I think this is not much of uh, animalic or uh, loud when you think of wood I thought at first thing it came to my mind could be a Malaysian wood I don't know what the name uh, is inspired by but Malaysia sound like Malaysia but could be some other uh, meaning I don't know so I am not the expert on Zerja but this smells really nice uh, first thing it surprised me a little bit that Zerja's many fragrances like this line they have a quite a few others you know which are very loud and very very prominent uh, Utstars line I think features like uh, Mamluk, Fars and then uh, or Alexandria Oriental, Ceylon, al Khat, uh, Gao Zafar, there are so many Indo, Chine, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at fragrant together. There are many Alexandria 1, Alexandria 2, Alexandria Imperial, a lot of Alexandria, uh, Zanzibar, so many, many. Okay, so these fragrances are very loud. Okay, when you spray them, this is very long lasting. Make no mistake, I'm not saying this is a weak juice or anything. This fragrance is very, very uh, long lasting. But for an oud fragrance, it's actually like it's actually more sweet variant. It's kind of like a, I'm no, I'm not sure, like. It smells a bit boozy, it smells a bit like leather, amber, all those mix, and it's very drinkable kind of thing, you know, like, uh, it's very pleasant aroma to the fragrance. It's not uh, one of those animalic oud that you cannot wear. I think this is a very wearable oud, and uh, amber, definitely there is amber in this, but I'm smelling something sweet, something drinkable or something leathery, 
and uh, the sweetness comes from the Vitong Tonka bean and uh, vanilla as I mentioned but this is a very wearable uh, I would tell you one thing if there is real wood is used in this very polished wood it's not the raw skanky and mixed with some you know uh, something uh, like an animalic like kuros or something it doesn't give me the vibe it's very wearable very nice I think it's gonna be perfect fragrance for uh, winter colder months you wear this with a little bit of a leather jacket and I think both genders can wear it but the given the price the quality of their job is always there I don't know how they uh, what kind of ingredients they use but I, I would imagine very expensive ones so i would say this fragrance is uh, high class it smells nice very long lasting but it's something like doesn't jump out of your skin so much i don't know if the bigger atomizer will do that but so far i feel this is a very good fragrance to a wearable fragrance which will last up to eight hours or nine hours or plus okay maybe uh, if you have nice weather and nice skin it will last even more than 10 hours so overall it's not the longest last thing that i smell so far but it's one of the different nicest ones okay alexandria one Alexandria two were also very beautiful but they're a bit strong so this one can be given a shot by people who are not very very big fan of loud perfumes they want something from middle east but with a western touch okay so definitely give it a try it's a nice fragrance i'll give it like 8.5 out of 10 malaysia second one let's look at it's uh shams oud by memo paris okay so this is the name and I don't know, uh, are there many reviews on it? The bottle looks like this. The Memo Perry, I have only one full bottle that I have is, uh, <coughs> sorry, African leather. Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> A little bit of cold as well. So they do have nice little uh, sample in there as well as the whole uh, notes breakdown as well as the description of this perfume. So I don't know if it's a 2ml as well. I don't know. I don't take note. Yeah, this is also a 2ml. Very generous. Very, very generous. And uh, let me read. Uh, what they have for note breakdown so this one the bottle looks really gorgeous in uh, fragrant ticket thanks to them and this one they say it's uh, where wait pepper saffron ginger cypriol oil or nagamota vetiver agarud french labdanum tolu balsam styrex birch and tonka beans i don't know for some reason i picked these two up today to review because they are in the same family for some reason they both have perhaps oud you know I have the two other fragrances I'm going to review maybe tomorrow are these. These are also dark but nice fragrances. Bulgari Legion Falker or Falker and then uh, Jubilation 25 for women. So these two are also fantastic niche perfumes. But let's look at this one. So according to Fragrantica, this fragrance was released in like 2000, uh, long time back, 2011, like about 10 years plus, 12, 13 years. Okay. So how does this smell? This smells also fantastic. This is a very, very nice because uh, Memo Perry, I think, I don't know if they have 100 ml now, but I remember they used to have 65 or 75, the smaller bottle sizes. I'm just spraying once again on the paper. Mm, this is very nice. Uh, these are actually niche style perfume. These are not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I'll just tell you first thing. I smell both of them. The beginners will not feel this is their cup of tea. Okay, like if I was just starting my fragrance journey, uh, and I'm not sure about a lot of notes. If I live in a hot country, this kind of fragrances I will not look at first. First thing is the price. Uh, Zerjov definitely is for rich kids, uh, rich people, because it's not going to be everybody's uh, budget. Uh, Memo Paris, I have seen, I don't remember exactly how much, but it was definitely uh, going for more than $200, $250 like that in our retail outlet, So which is not cheap. So uh, I'll tell you, like... Uh, this is again a unisex style perfume but more like more masculine than anything and uh, the fragrance is kind of like intoxicating just like the malaysia one this one doesn't feel also like the ooh heavy you know like skanky or scary is those fragrance you can embrace and wear it's very wearable very wearable but definitely it's also not for everybody let's say you're in the game for a couple of years and you wore something like some leather based perfume some ooh in it and some dark fragrances for winter this one can be easily in your uh, shelf and i think the fragrance will create an impression even the pepper and saffron they mentioned here they are there okay it's not uh, one of those dark killian dark lord or uh, bentley for man intense i can say that this is more in style of very niche style leather this is the most prominent note to my nose in this fragrance because memo perry for me it's their leathers are very beautifully done and I can smell some of the elements from African leather. Mm. Amber is definitely present. The amber leather combination of the saffron. 
very uh, tasty fragrance again. So I would say um, the oud in this, where is the oud? I mean, I sprayed this I, on my skin. I tried the dry down. Um, the oud, I did not find that much, to be honest. Um, basically, I got that uh, sweetness of the leather, the amber, and perhaps some of the sp uh, spiciness up top, which is a very nice, simple fragrance. This one doesn't have so much transformation. It's uh, like a one-tone fragrance. Okay, when you spray it opening, opening a little bit of saffron that will go away and then you remain with that amber and uh, like you can say sexy little leather okay amber leather combination so is it worth the price tag i smell some of the fragrances in this genre uh, if you like basically fragrance like lanoui de l'homme okay i'm just giving you an idea you know just to compare ch man Privé. this is mostly like a niche version of those things okay uh, or a little bit more serious up class version but uh, those fragrances are a lot more uh, crowd appealing this one has great longevity okay this house i'll tell you most fragrances are long lasting okay but i think the zerg of here is a bit more long lasting than memo but it's not a comparison video so i think this both would be good for cold weather fall winter and uh, nighttime very sexy wear and you can give it a try i like this a lot more than the malaysia one then profile wise it's a bit more interesting so i'll give it 8.5 so there you go first one is malaysia and second one is gonna be uh, Shams Oud. Check them out. The second one for me, it's not much Oud. This one, if, if there is any Oud, this is very wearable. So both fragrances are very wearable. Keep that in mind and get a sample like this. This is the best way to explore a perfume. When you go to a niche fragrance store, if they have some free samples to give when you purchase a perfume, tell them to give you a free sample, a couple of them. They're usually very generous because you're spending a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move on to the uh, next video. Then we'll upload this. Take care.